Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what you should do if you only have hearing loss in one ear. Coming up. In most cases, when people develop hearing loss, it happens in both ears at the same time. For example, it is nearly unheard of for individuals with age-related hearing loss to have it in only one ear. When you develop hearing loss as you age, which is something called presbycusis, the decline in your thresholds drops in both ears, typically in the high frequencies, at a very similar rate. Your word recognition percentages also decline, typically very symmetrically. This is due to the natural natural deterioration of outer hair cells and inner hair cells. And it is so common that approximately 80% of individuals will have a symmetrical hearing loss in both of their ears by age 80. This is also true when it comes to noise-induced hearing loss. When you listen to loud sounds for too long of a duration, it causes damage to these hair cell structures in both of your ears as well. Back in the day, they used to think that if you sustain noise damage from something like a gunshot, that it would affect one ear more than the other other, but that has since been debunked and noise exposure usually leads to symmetrical hearing loss in both of your ears as well. When we take a look at an audiogram for someone who has been exposed to gunfire or any other damaging noise levels, we can see a characteristic noise notch around three to 4,000 hertz in both of their ears, indicating that both ears are affected by noise. But even though the two most common types of hearing loss result in a hearing decline in both ears at the same time, not every hearing loss is this this way and you could actually have what is known as a unilateral hearing loss. But before I talk about unilateral hearing losses, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, please do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And a huge shout out to Resound for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. Some causes of hearing loss can actually lead to a unilateral hearing loss in one of your ears. And some of them can be so bad that it actually leaves you deaf in that ear. While having hearing loss in one of your ears is not as common as having hearing loss in both of your ears, there are some cases of unilateral hearing loss that are more common than others. Fortunately, even though single-sided deafness is not as common as bilateral hearing loss, it is common enough to give you some different treatment options. The most common of those treatment options is something known as a cross transmitter like the new Resound Nexia Cross from Resound, today's video sponsor. The reason why the Resound Nexia Cross device is so effective effective for a case of single-sided deafness is that it actually helps you overcome the head shadow effect. The head shadow effect occurs when sound originates on your deaf side, but by the time it gets over to the ear that can actually hear, it reduces in amplitude by approximately seven to eight decibels, which is the difference between you hearing what someone is saying and not hearing them at all. Without treatment, this requires you to actually turn your better hearing ear towards the person who's talking to you if you want any shot to understand what they're saying. This is especially true if you happen to find yourself in a noisy environment and that noise is distracting your better hearing ear even more. The Resound Nexia Cross can actually take the sound from your bad side and route it to the hearing aid in your better hearing ear to overcome that head shadow effect. Now, if you happen to have normal hearing in your better hearing ear, all you're doing is something called cross transmission, where you're taking sound from the cross transmitter, sending it into the hearing aid in your better hearing ear, and not applying any additional amplification to it for you to hear someone on your bad side. However, if you also have a hearing loss in your better hearing ear, you need to use something called bicross, which is where you add amplification to the sound being crossed over in your better hearing ear to overcome the hearing loss in your better hearing ear as well. Both the Resound Nexia cross transmitter and the Resound Nexia hearing aids are the smallest rechargeable receiver and canal hearing aids on the market right now. And it's also important to note that you can use the rechargeable cross transmitter with any one of the Resound Nexia hearing aids that uses a disposable battery. One feature that you also get with Resound Nexia that you do not get with any of the other brands out on the market right now is the ability to do Bluetooth LE audio. This will give Resound Nexia hearing aid and cross users the ability to wirelessly stream high quality audio from your smart device all while using less power so you have longer battery life and allow for AuraCast broadcast audio, which will give you access to a publicly available audio transmission, such as announcements at airport gates or audio from TVs at your local sports bar. And you can even manipulate your devices using the Resound Smart 3D app. 
If you would like to learn more about Bluetooth LE audio in the Resound Nexia devices, I will have an additional video linked in the description. While single-sided deafness is not particularly common, treating it is very common. Some people with hearing loss in one ear do feel like they can get by without treating it, but most individuals who have this particular type of hearing loss find it incredibly inconvenient and annoying. When your brain cannot receive a signal from both of your ears, you actually lose several binaural benefits, including binaural squelch and binaural summation. Binaural squelch is your brain's ability to identify which ear has the better signal to noise ratio so it can focus in on that ear for you to get better speech understanding in a noisy environment. Binaural summation is your brain's ability to take sound from both of your ears and actually enhance it when both ears can participate in the listening task. While this type of hearing loss is unfortunate to have, it is fortunate that hearing aid manufacturers are committed to providing individuals with this type of hearing loss with cross transmitter options options. And it doesn't matter whether you've had single-sided deafness since you were a child or for just the past month. A cross transmitter can significantly improve your hearing and improve your quality of life. So if you happen to be in the minority and you have an untreatable hearing loss or deafness in one of your ears, the good news is you have an excellent treatment option if you want to overcome it.